Hi, I'm Karina Felix reporting from the Grizzly Gazette and I'm with Granite Hills' athletic director. So, Mr. Stoddard, um, what are the duties of being an athletic director? Well, <clears throat> well there's about 30, 30 uh, items on the list that the district um, has for me, but I would have to say the coordination of all athletic events at the school. That includes snack bars, game workers, uh, who the coaches are, how the coaches perform, uh, evaluations of coaches, um, setting up contracts for coaches, uh, um, working with Coach Rankin at the district office with our schedules. Probably the, uh, one of the biggest things is our uh, fund raising as well as distribution of district funds to the, to the teams. Um, I think those are, are probably the most important uh, issues, as well as you know, teaching coaches to, to be good coaches and to and to help them. I'm, I'm here to serve coaches and try to make them uh, uh, try to help them be better coaches. And if they have struggles or uh, challenges, to see if I can help them over uh, overcome those. Um, how do you manage to do all that while still to? teaching English for three periods. <laughs> oh, now you got me. I've got this, this, this is what I'm doing today when I, when I have a few moments is I have a stack of papers that I need to correct. Uh, my, uh, my three classes are very patient with me as far as getting the essays corrected and uh, I ha thank goodness that I have three outstanding English classes that, uh, that are so much fun to teach and, and, and they cut me some slack as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's a challenge, uh, but I think we get a lot done in our English classes as well. Um, does being athletic director take any toll on your personal life? Well, sure. In, this, in, the next, in the next two weeks, I'll be gone. I'm, I don't come home till 9 o'clock every night uh, because of uh, wrestling, uh, basketball, soccer. Uh, this is a very busy time. And of course, you know, during the fall, there's you know, volleyball games to attend, as well as home and away football games. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, thank goodness my kids are all, all grown and on their own and doing well. And I'm able to focus entirely on uh, first my wife, and then secondly, the, the job that I have here at Grand Hills High School. Um, why do you think we have such low turnouts at um, games? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, well, first of all, I think that many of our, our parents, uh, and that was very obvious when we played Porterville in the basketball Monday night. Mm -hmm. Porterville had their parents all out there, and then we had a, a just a smidgen of our parents watching our kids play. I, 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 I don't really know. Uh, all I can, I can assume that it might be that our parents uh, are really hardworking people and that they come home and they, they have uh, other kids to worry about. Mm -hmm. And they also... Um, the price of the games might might uh, cause uh, families not to come. However, we have uh, you know we have uh, ways that that uh, families can afford. Uh, yes, it's not free, but there are passes that we can sell them. But I would have to think that it's, it's financially, and then also uh, the responsibility, the heavy responsibility of of taking care of families um, that might keep our parents away. I hope it's not apathy, and I'm, you know, sometimes I think it might be, but um, I know that our parents love our kids just as much as, as the other school's parents love their kids. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, you know, I've, I've been here now since the school opened, and I just love Granite Hills, and uh, I love our, our, our student body is, 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 is all, has always been a great student body. And our faculty and our administration is wonderful. Uh, it's not really a secret anymore. I think our, our, you know, the way we've done with API testing and as well as uh, in athletics, we compete with anybody. And um, I just love Granite Hills, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Reporting from the Grizzly Gazette, I'm Karina Felix.